Hi guys, this is the Java series. Now let's discuss about the packages. What is package? A package in Java language is used to, to group related classes. Okay, I repeat it again. A package is used to, to group related classes. Okay, for example, a folder in a file directory. Okay. A folder in a file directory is the example for package. We use packages to avoid name conflicts and to write a better maintainable code. Okay. Why we need packages? We use the packages to avoid name conflicts and to write a better maintainable code. Okay. Then what are the types of packages. Packages are divided into two categories. The first one is inbuilt packages. Okay, those packages from the Java API application programming interface. Okay, the second one is user defined packages. This type of packages are created by the programmer. Okay, first we will discuss the built-in packages. The Java API is a library of pre-written classes okay, that are free to use included in the JDE Java Development Environment. Okay. The library contains components for managing input, database programming and much more. Okay. That library is divided into packages and classes. That is, we can either import a single class. Single class means methods and attributes which are present inside the class or a whole package that contain all the classes that belong to the specified package. Up to this clear? Okay. Then, how to import a package? To import a whole package in the sentence with an asterisk sign. Okay. For example, here, first we have to use the import keyword. If we want to import any inbuilt package, we have to follow this syntax. First we have to use the import keyword like this and then single space and this is the package. Okay. So this is the main package. Inside this main package, I have the sub package and inside this sub package, we have the inbuilt class. Okay. O must be capital. This is the inbuilt class. Okay. So this inbuilt class is present inside the java.language package. Got it. If I use asterisk here means inside this java.language we have so many classes. If I use this asterisk symbol means what is the meaning? All the classes in the java.language package will be imported. Got it. Okay. And how to Import a particular class means what we will do? We can use. For example, if I want to import the scanner class or object class or any type of classes means what I will do? I have to specify that class alone. Okay. For example, use the asterisk symbol and I use the inbuilt class like this. This is the inbuilt class which is present inside the java.language. I hope you all understood how to import a particular class or all the classes which are present inside the package. So this is the package. Okay, if I want to add all the classes inside this package means after the dot operator, I have to use the asterisk symbol. But if I want to add a single class like object means I can use that class alone like this. Is it clear? 
Okay. So, if I use the particular class means, we can use the available methods which are present inside this object class. Okay. If I use the asterisk symbol means all the classes which are present inside the Java dot language package we can use in this program. Got it? Okay. And this is the procedure to import the inbuilt package in our program or project. Okay. Either we can use asterisk symbol or we can use particular class from the package. Okay. So, in between the main and sub package and the class, we can use the dot operator like this. Okay. This is the syntax to import the package in our program. Okay. The next one. User defined package. How to create the user defined package in Eclipse editor. Okay. So, we have uh, two ways. Okay. We can use the Java package wizard to create a Java package. Okay. How can I do? First, we go to the file menu and then click on the new and then the package. And here I have to give the name of the package. Pack 1. Whatever you want, you give. And click on the finish button. Okay. So, the source folder is this one. Corbage collector and inside the SRC source file, this pack 1 will be created. Okay. Now, click on this finish button. Now, see here I got the pack 1. Okay. This pack 1 is from this SRC. This SRC is from this corbage collector. Okay. So, this is one way if we want to create the user defined package. That is, this package is created by the programmer. Okay. And one more option is we can use this icon. Okay. This is from the tool. Okay. So, this icon is for the Java package. You just click on this icon and give the name of the package like this and click on the finish button. So, here we got the pack 2 that is the name of the package. Okay. So, we can use the menus to create the package or we can use the tools like this. Got it? I hope you all understood about what is package, why we need package and what are the types of the package. What are the types of the package? Inbuilt package and user defined package and how to import a package. Okay. So, we can import a single class or we can import all the class which are present inside the packages and how to create the user defined package. Okay. We have completed this session. If you have any doubts, drop the message on the comment section. If this video is useful to you, like and share. For more videos, subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon, then only you will get the notification for my new updates. Have a nice day. Thank you.